Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I am Steph and today I am going to be giving myself a freshened up money piece. So I am a hairdresser. I want to just put that out there that I am not encouraging you to do this at home. Please only do this if you have hairdressing experience. Bleaching your hair at home is never a good idea but this is the second UK lockdown and my roots are in desperate need but I'm trying not to touch any of this because I really want to take the opportunity to let my hair grow and do loads of like conditioning treatments and so much to get my hair in much better condition so I have been making videos of what products are really amazing to use and what is going to be amazing to get your hair growing and stuff like that so please subscribe to my channel if you want to have more hair tips and more hair videos but today I am going to be giving myself a little DIY a money piece I obviously already have a bit of a money piece but because it's grown out I really just want to take it up a little bit further I am literally going to be doing it with three or four foils it is so simple and so easy but again I am just wanting to make a disclaimer that do I do not advise doing this at home it's not something that I am recommending I am only doing this because I am a hairdresser and I know exactly what I'm doing. But yeah, I thought I would film it anyway so that you could see. So let's get started. I also want to add that the products that I'm using today might not necessarily be suitable for your hair. I am going to be using 9% developer. My hair is pretty dark, whereas if you're naturally lighter, you might be able to get away with a 6% developer or even a 3% developer. But then this is just a recommendation for what my hair is like, what I think is suitable for me and what I am going to be using. So please do not do this at home. If you do not have hairdressing experience and you have no clue about hair, put the bleach down. That's all I can say. Also going to be using Olaplex. Olaplex is amazing to be putting in your bleach. I am going to be using number one, which is the one that you mix in for your lightning and it helps protect your hair because my hair has got in such good condition after um, loads of bleaching gone wrong. So I am wanting to keep it as healthy as possible. So I'm going to be putting this in my bleach. Things that you will need for this tutorial are bleach. I am using Igora Swartkoff, Swartkoff, how do you even say that? Swartkoff Professional Bleach. We actually love this bleach. It gives up to eight shades of lift. So we use it all the time in the salon. So that is what I'm going to be using today. I'm also going to be using foil. These are our own branded Lady Lux foils, but you can use any old kitchen foil. I am going to be using 9% developer today. This is because my hair is actually quite dark so yeah I want to have a good lift. Well I'm also then going to be toning it afterwards and I'm using Redken Shades EQ toners. We will talk more toners once we get all the bleaching done. Well, I'm now just going to do a little bit of a voiceover so that we can see what we're going to do. So let's get started. So as you can see my roots are absolutely huge. They are a dark shade 6 and I am going to concentrate on lifting up the front money piece. I'm going to make it super thin and super fine. But yeah, it's going to look really nice. So these are all the products and tools I'm going to be using for this tutorial. It's the Igora, Swartzkoff Bleach, Lady Lux Foil and 9% Developer. Olaplex, of course. I've got a bowl and a brush. I've got Redkin's Shades EQ. And I've got a tail comb and some clips. So I'm going to start off by taking my hair down and I'm going to be brushing it through to make sure that there's no knots and tangles. I'm going to be taking my tail comb and I'm going to be sectioning off my front money piece. Now it is entirely up to yourself how thick and how bold you want your money piece to be. I personally am going for a much smaller money piece. I'm going for a really blended. I don't want it to be like a super bold and prominent money piece. I just want it to be a slight pop at the front of my face so I am going to be taking smaller sections but you can replicate exactly what I'm doing but in a bigger section so as you can see this is the size of my section and these are the areas I'm going to be bleaching so I'm just going to be taking a little scoop of bleach I'm adding in my 9% developer and I'm obviously adding in my Olaplex even though it's just a small area that I'm bleaching I always add Olaplex into colour just to protect my hair I'm going to mix it all together and we can get started. 
So I'm going to take my front sections and I'm going to be taking a very fine section at the front of my hair. It might look like pointless hair to bleach, but please trust me when it comes to the money piece, you literally have to bleach the tiniest, babiest hairs. So now that I've got my section, I'm just going to finely weave the first section and then I am just going to highlight as normal. I like to put the foil over my, my comb so that I can get it really precise in at the root and then I'm just going to be applying the bleach. Make sure that you apply the bleach only to the dark section of the hair and don't bring the bleach down onto the already pre-bleached hair that's already light as you may cause this hair to snap. And please don't bring your bleach onto the scalp as that will cause bleeding in the foil. So I am just going to fold the foil up out of the way so that I can make way for my next section. Folding the foil also keeps the hair and the bleach incubated, which will cause it to develop quicker and lift super blonde. So I am now taking my next super fine section. This time I'm going to take more of a slice. So I am going to be doing a weave, a slice and a weave just because I do think that the slice gets the brighter pop of the bleach but the weave obviously brings in some of the dark and causes the blend to be much, much more seamless. I'm just straightening up this section here as it was a little bit messy. So now that I have got my section, I'm going to do the same again and put the foil over the comb, place it right underneath my section and apply the bleach. Again, the bleach is only going to be applied to the dark section of my hair. I am leaving a few millimetres at the top just so that the bleach will not bleed onto the rest of my hair. Sorry, I was having a little bit difficulty seeing with the light coming in and with the mirror. But yes, I am only applying the bleach onto the dark section of my hair. So I am folding the bleach in half and then I'm folding the bleach up in half again and then I'm folding the sides in just so that it's super secure so that then once they're on and they're developing they're not going to flap and flop about. I'm now moving on to my third section. The third section is probably one of the smallest sections as the hair section in that I took, took was slightly like a triangle. This looks like pretty pointless to bleach, but obviously because I am going for a small money piece, it is very important that we take super fine and super small sections. Again, I'm just placing my foil in right clean in at the root and applying the bleach. So I have applied a total of three foils and that is going to be my money piece on my first section. You can apply more, but as I do want to have mine super fine and super small, I am going to just apply three on either side. So I don't know what happened to my camera, but it wasn't able to record the first section, but I'm now moving on to the other side and I'm on the second section from the other side. So again, I was doing a weave in the first section. I'm now back to doing a slice applying the foil right in at the root and applying my bleach. Again, I'm only applying the bleach onto the dark section and feathering it down onto the blonde ever so slightly. Now I'm moving on to my last section where again I am doing a weave. This is again a really, really small section but still really important as I obviously want to make my money piece super blended. Once all my foils are in and folded and secure, I'm going to leave them to develop for 40 minutes. I'm going to keep checking on the foils to make sure that they are lifting safely and make sure that the blonde isn't over processing, but that's me done. 
So this is me 40 minutes later and the bleach has actually lifted up really well. I've actually managed to get some bleach on the rest of my hair, which is not ideal, but I am just going to put a little bit of a toner on that. So I am going to take the foils out and as you can see, they have lifted really, really well and they're really, really blonde. So I am just going to remove all the foils and then I am going to fully rinse the hair, rinse all the bleach out. I'm then going to wash and then we're going to apply the toner. So I have just been in the shower and I have shampooed all my hair. I took off my jumper because it's white and I did not want it to get messed up and it's my new Zara one. So I was like, definitely taking that off. So I have washed my hair. I've only shampooed it. I haven't conditioned it because obviously we don't want to condition it because that's what's going to seal the cuticle. Whereas the cuticle is still open. Basically what that means is because we've put the bleach on, the bleach has now opened up the cuticle, the cuticle is now open, ready for the toner to go in, which means the toner will last longer and basically it'll just take better so it is that way that you're best not to condition. So I'm just going to take my hair out, as you can see here is my money piece taken shape, so I'm just going to brush it back into the middle part in. So I kept mine really small and really subtle. I did not want to have like a really big chunky one. I might add more at a later date, but you're always better to do less than too much. So I've just brushed it all through and now I am going to put a tiny little root shadow on it just so that it's not right up to the top. Some people like to just have their money piece like full blown up to the top. I like to have mine just like a little bit softer. So I'm going to just put a tiny dab and by that I mean literally go in. It seems pretty pointless, but to me it's not. I need to just have that tiny, tiny little um, bit of a root shadow on it. And today I'm going to be using Redken Shades EQ, which is like one of my favourite toners. It's, yeah, my ultimate go-to. Don't use anything else. So the toners that I'm going to be using today, first of all, for my root tap, I am using 6NA. And for my actual toner, I'm just going to use 9N. I really don't like it that ashy and I just like it to be sort of freshened up. So I'm just going to be popping that on and I'm just going to be doing it on my front bit. I'm not going to be putting it on the ends. So yeah, let's get started. So I'm going to mix up the Redken Shades EQ 6NA Root Shadow. I feel terrible that I don't have scales. I'm at home, so I'm basically just guesstimating and mixing this up. It is the smallest part, so I think it it'll be fine. It is a little dark in here now, but I'm just going to make do. We're nearly at the end of the video, so I have just mixed up the 6NA. It seems so pointless and people might be thinking, oh God, why are you going to bother putting it on? But for me... I just would rather have the tiniest little root shadow. Plus, I also managed to get a little bit of bleach on another part of my hair. There it is there. So I'm just going to dab a little bit of that on to make sure that that all darkens back down. I'm just going to sort out my sectioning just so that I can actually go through the money piece and apply the little root shadow. You don't want to just do it on the hair part and you have to take it in between the sections as well to just make sure that it's fully covered. I'm literally tapping it on, then taking another section and then tapping it on. It can be a bit fiddly because it's such small and fine sections of hair that you're working with, but trust me, it does look so much softer and so much better blended. So I'm just going to continue on to the other the side front. again. I'm sectioning from the front this time and I'm just root and tapping just tap. on the freshly bleached money piece. As you can see, the brightness comes right up to the root. If you want to keep the brightness right up to the root, you don't need to apply a little um, root shadow, but I just like to apply a slight root shadow just so that it's slightly softer. And now that is the root tap on. So I am just going to comb that through. Just, just comb that through. Uh, 
and now I'm just going to mix up the nine in. Again, I would measure and I would have put five mils of each at the salon, so guesstimation it is. So now that the root tap is on, I am just going to mix up the, I've mixed up the nine in, the nine in, and I'm just going to put it on the mid lens. I am not going to put it on my ends because I want it to be super bright and it's more so that it can go dark to medium to bright. And then I'm just going to make my way through. Just because you put it on the top doesn't mean that it has gone through to the other layers so you need to make sure that you go through it section by section. And now that is me applied my toner. So I'm going to leave this on for 20 minutes and then we can see the final results. So I am back, guys. It is the next again day. I did actually start doing my money piece later on in the day. And by the time I did my toner and everything, I was then like actually kind of be bothered to blow dry this and show, show you the results now. The answer was no. So I thought I'll just do it all tomorrow. So this is the next again day and I have blow dried my hair and it is already looking so much better but obviously this is the money piece the blonde is coming right from the top i just even feel like with this roller in it already looks so much better so i'm just going to take the roller out and we can see the final results this is obviously the final results of my money piece it is just a thinner finer money piece but I feel like it makes all the difference it just gives it this little pop I need I really like the lightness around my face so by having that I feel like it does make all the difference it still is super blended so that then when it's tied up it's going to be seamless again I really really do like when it's tied up having the money piece coming right from the top and having it really sleek like that I do like it um, but I am actually going to film a video where I highlight all this because I just love being super blonde. The money piece is really good in the sense as well that when the hair is back, obviously the highlights come from the top. So you can see them all here. Like they look so good against the dark. So when it pops, like obviously I've got all this root down here, which does need some lightness in it as well. So yeah, I'm just getting to that stage that I love it when this is like over like this. And I've got all the lightness here, but I just feel like all this is just so dark. I need some highlights and stuff to just like break this up a little bit. But I do really love the little money piece at the front. So I have added in my Lady Lux clip-ins. I feel like the length just totally pops the whole look. I absolutely love my little money piece and my new extensions and my new overall look. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. I am going to take another video where I'm gonna highlight all this so that it isn't as dark and it's just a little bit more broken up. It's not gonna be like full head highlights or anything, it is just gonna be some scattered foils just to break this up a little bit. So if you want to see more hair videos, then please subscribe to the channel and please stay tuned for more.